could you you know like that? Um, yeah, you could. Mm -hmm. um, you'd need so you can you can build things that are um, uh, kind of call it a, a sled. Mm. Um, which is kind of what it sounds like that actually runs in both of the tracks at the same time. Oh, so, like, so that's yeah. one of the things. Yeah. Like this, um, like this. There's the slot. Um, so, like, this is just kind of overpowering this. Um, it's just not hard to hold it against it. It's not right. stable. It's not. Uh, but it, but if you were yeah. if you were in both tracks. It'd be much more stable, and also because one track, there's a track on either side of the blade, mm -hmm. um, which makes it very stable. Um, hmm. And so maybe I'll make a sled. Um, but even then, that's a lot of. There's this is a big enough piece of wood that it's it's still kind of sticking out. Um, but like so, if I was doing this cut, um, I would I would probably be holding it like this and pushing it through. Yeah. Um, where let's see, how, how am I describing what pressure I'm exerting? Um, like with this hand, I'm I'm down and forward and a, and maybe just a little bit to the side. So uh, okay. Like, like this so a not bit. crushing it against there, but right. Steady, and then yeah. and this hand is pushing forward and to the side as well. Mm -hmm. and then actually, that feels okay. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually yeah, just yeah, blade down. It feels controllable, um, and this okay. and this is only right. And you're going to be getting out here, and so like now that's going to be a little, you know, something. Well, yeah. at that point, it'll be it'll be through the um, it'll be through cutting, and you'll just be pushing through. Like once uh -huh. once the wood got, gets past probably right about there, yeah, it's going to separate. So that and will so be this part of the this picture will, this will stop. And at this point, at that yeah. point, you're not. There's no. Re, there's no resistance here anymore. Mm -hmm. And so you're. So there's. Um, you still have to make sure that you're pushing it through at an even rate. But it's. Mm -hmm. But it should be. It'll be a little bit easier. Um, mm -hmm. And also, when you're getting big things like this, um, yeah. it's nice to have either an outfeed feed table, which we don't have, or another human being standing uh, here. Yeah. That can. Take the big piece of wood for you, also because mm -hmm. when when you get to the piece of wood about here, and it's right. it's like wood. It's one of so right. having something that can like take the. Uh, um, okay. So if you want, um, you can just go for it. And yeah, let's give it a, give it a try here. So actually, I mean, have you ever used a tabletop before? Um, no, I haven't. Okay. I, don't, I don't think so. Let's have you do one cut that's not a semi-advanced cut first. <laughs> have you do a I would like you to cut this to um, yeah. six inches wide. Uh -huh. So you should probably plug it in. <laughs> that <laughs> helps with the power tools. Yeah. Power tools. <laughs> All right. Let's see. No power, no tool. say um, is uh, you you were like way over here yeah um, you can be a little bit more in the middle it will give you a little bit better control over the piece yeah. um, I'm sure you were just trying to stay away from the blade which is <laughs> great <laughs> totally great love that um, but you'll actually it might even be a little bit safer to be in more it's probably safer to be more control. in control yeah um, and it'll slightly closer to the blade um, and also because like here you're just gonna have a tendency to kind of like push like Torque it out. You're not you're not able mm -hmm. to hold against the fence as Got much. Um, but yeah, but that was good. Okay, good. And just like you want a flat surface against the fence, you want a flat generally a flat surface on the table. Mm -hmm. um, 
you feel about putting your phone number up here? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to be able to see me if I put Rockin'. 